Welcome back to Tenzo Zenia. Today we're going to see how Mila is doing. second floor window is open. That means Mila's awake. Yeah. What's wrong? There's something I should tell you. What? It can't be. It open. Your legs. Yes. No tingling, no pain, no anything. <sighs> Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? No. Nah, That's well. all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. <sighs> Good luck. Oh, good morning. Is something on your mind? It's just that a long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. What changed? You were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was... I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. Huh. If you say so. I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into trouble. <laughs> you really are... I a do-gooder? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm in your hands. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat. So let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven.
Drassel. You have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. How are they these? No need huh? to apologize. You have much to keep you occupied here. Drassel's life is about to get very busy. She'll need your guidance. Yes. You're really leaving? Yeah. Take care, okay? You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still. We should get moving. Everyone, you've been a great help. I'm in your debt. Time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you. Hi. Super pals, don't split up. We stay together forever. I hope we get to see them soon. You will. So, they're really continuing on. <sighs> so be it. to pour down on us. Better call it a day. Good idea. How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> So you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? Well, in my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. Don't... don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. Okay. <laughs> Like here. <laughs> hey. Sit closer. Why? I want to thank you. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. No. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. Mm, My parents maybe. tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah. 
So yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? <laughs> exactly what sort of books are you reading? We should reach the Sea Haven sometime today. Glad to hear it. I'm fine, but now what? I will kill you. H hey, hold tight. See. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle, and it helped create the Rashigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. All right! Yeah, now! Yeah, healer! Ha. Was this really the only way? Thank you. I appreciate it. Elise doesn't get too lonely. She has Rowan and Drissel with her. You don't need to worry. I wonder what Alvin's next job is gonna be. I hope it isn't anything too dangerous. He wouldn't last long as a mercenary if you turned down dangerous work. <laughs> 
You really are a worrier, aren't you? It's not that. I just wish we could have all stayed together. This was inevitable. We all have different duties. Cheer up. We'll see them all again. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> How very odd. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Syl. Let me go check on the ship's schedule. I'll be right back. Lady Mila! I finally caught up with you! Ivor, what are you doing here? When I saw your face on the Wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile. That's not the point. Don't you realize- Ugh. Lady Mila, are you okay? No way. Your... your legs. Mila! You! Tell me what you've done to her! Stand down, Ivor. This wasn't Jude's fault. I brought this upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. One must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. All it right. is an esteemed position for run. real men. Manly men! She may have commanded it, but clearly it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true, No one. I will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. Now know your place and be gone. You can accompany her if you like, but I'm coming too. Hmm. Ivor, stop this nonsense. Please, Lady Mila, stay where you are. You will thank me for this later. Okay. How dare you allow this to happen? I shut up! I don't need to hear your excuses! I tried! I said shut up! It's time for you to pay for your sins, you bastard! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> <laughs> Man. Not yet. Dragon Fury. Not yet. All right. I must fulfill my duties. Pretty good, for a phony. <laughs> Call me whatever you want. I just want to help Mila. <sighs> How many times do I have to tell you? That's my job! Lady Mila. Mila! I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now we need to get moving. <laughs> Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Consider it as precious as my life. The lives of the four are counting on it. And you're entrusting it to me? 
I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. I knew I can count on my handmaid. Now, return to Nia Kara. What? Your duty is to protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila, my place is with you! Don't make me repeat myself. G hurry up and take her. But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy! Uh, sure thing. And I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right! Yeah, boy. Time to go to an old. I'm Yes, you just had to be the winner, huh? Oh yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, no, uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor! Stat! This woman needs help! Right! Roger! Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. Thank you.